we are given big F of X equals F of G of X, as well as several function values for F of X, F prime of X, G of X, and G prime of X. We're asked to evaluate big F prime of one. And again, we are given big F of X is equal to the composition of functions F of G of X. So because big F of X is a composite function, we need to apply the chain rule in order to determine big F prime of X. When applying the chain rule, we take the derivative of the outer function, evaluate it at the inner function, and multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is expressed here on the right. The derivative of f of g of x with respect to x is equal to f prime of g of x, which is the derivative of the outer function, evaluated at the inner function, and then we have times g prime of x, which is the derivative of the inner function. So again, big F prime of X is equal to F prime of G of X times G prime of X. And now to determine big F prime of one, we substitute one for X, which gives us big F prime of one is equal to F prime of G of one times G prime of one. And now we need to determine the function values g of one and g prime of one. Looking at the given function values, notice g of one is equal to negative one, which gives us f prime of negative one times g prime of one is negative two, so we have times negative two. And for the next step, we determine f prime of negative one. And notice f prime of negative one is negative three which gives us negative three times negative two, which is equal to positive six. We now know big F prime of one is equal to positive six. I hope you found this helpful.